Aaron receives a 5% commission plus $400 per week for his salary. What amount of sales will allow him to earn $600 this week? So Aaron has 5% commission plus $400 per week for his salary, and he wants to earn $600 this week, all right? So what we gotta figure out is how much money, how much money is he gonna have to, or how many sales is he gonna have to do in order to make that $600, all right? And how much sales, that means how much value, what kind of dollar value will have to be on those sales this week? So let's take a look at it. Very similar to the problem we had yesterday. Those of you tuned in yesterday and saw us work through the math line thing, this is a slope intercept moment, all right? And this 5% is the slope, it's the rate of change. He gets 5% for every dollar he sells, for every piece he sells, for every kind of sale he makes. So it's 5% of that amount, that's what commission's all about. Plus, he gets $400 just for showing up, all right? Which is kind of nice because he works, the, works everything out. But he gets a bonus because he sells things, all right? And he sells, hopefully he does a good job of it. He wants to know how many sales, what amount of money will allow him to earn $600 for this week. So let's take a look and see how we're going to do it. The equation, first of all, remember I said slope intercept form. So we're going to look at a y equals mx plus b, because this situation fits it beautifully. It's a linear situation. It's very, very linear here. And our rate of change, our slope, is going to be 5%. Now, don't put 5 down there. You've got to change it into a decimal. Got to change it into a decimal. So it's going to be y equals... We'll put 500 there, move that decimal two places, and you'll have a zero in between the decimal point and the five. Now the x, we're going to replace it. We'll find out. Are we going to replace x or y? That's what some of you are probably asking out there. And we know b, because I said it's the starting point. The starting point, he gets $400 no matter what he does in terms of sales. All right, so here we go. Put our 400 right there. So there's our formula. There's our equation that was going to establish Aaron's salary. All right. So let's see, he wants to earn $600 this week. So that means, dear friends, that's what he wants to take home is Y. All right, that's what it's all about. Now, he wants to know how much of X, how much, and that's the, the amount of sales, is going to make it work for him to get $600. He may want to do more, you know, get more money there, but this is his minimum. All right, he's looking at $600, and of course, he is going to get that $400 kind of head start to get him to that $600, all right? So what we want to do is figure out what is x here this time. What is our x value? Okay? So basically you've got the dependent variable, the 600 given to you. You're working backwards on this one. So let's work backwards. Let's solve this equation. Let's solve it out. We're going to subtract 400 from both sides. There we go. And there we go. And look, look, look at what's going on here. I've got 200 hanging on the left. On the right, the 400 is gone, and I've got, ooh, a decimal. Now, we've had some people ask about how do we divide by decimals here, all right? So we're going to take 200, and we're going to divide by 5 hundredths with a th on the end of it, okay? Now, what happens here? What happens here is that I'm going to be saying 200 divided by this decimal. Let's go to the calculator so we make sure that we do not miscalculate those D rows. Now, they're going to be important here. They're going to be very important. So we're going to take our 200, and we are going to divide it by five hundredths, and that's going to kick us into, it looks like about 4,000, all right? So it looks like the amount of sales is going to be x equals to $4,000. Now, in using that amount, right there it is, you say, Ernie, do we know this for sure? Let's check and see. Let's check and see. Let's take our five hundredths times 4,000. Notice we said 4,000. It's a lot of money. And we're going to add 400 to it. And what we want to know, will it take us to $600? Will it get us to $600? Will Aaron get his good salary here? So let's see what happens. Again, let's go to the calculator since we've been working with it a little bit here. Let's take our 5 hundredths and we're going to multiply it by 4,000. By the way, it's a pretty good bit of money there. And then we're going to tack on, put a plus there, with 400. Now, dear friends, remember, your calculator knows order of operations. It's going to multiply. See how I'm swinging the cursor around there? It's going to multiply first, then it will take care of that 400. All in one fell swoop. Let's see what it does for us. It should give us, we're looking for 600. And that's what we get. 
there is his salary. So it does check out to be, it looks like this is going to give us 200. That's his commission, actually. The 400 he gets to begin with. So here we go. $600 is his entire salary. And that's pretty good money for a week. Not bad. Okay, Aaron, that's what it takes. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.